Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Object Oriented Programming. In this episode we're going to look at multiple inheritance. So we've seen single inheritance already, or basic inheritance. Multiple inheritance simply means that instead of a class inheriting from another class, that a class inherits from two other classes, or two superclasses. And that means the inheriting class has the functionality, that is to say the um, methods and attributes of both of of both or the multiple superclasses available to it. That's what multiple inheritance is. It's very simple. It sounds simple. It is considered by some people tricky to implement or just difficult to understand. So some programmers have a big a big problem with the idea of multiple inheritance. Um not in the sense of programming it, but if they have to read somebody else's code that uses a lot of multiple inheritance, they can get confused as to which methods are being inherited from which of the various superclasses. I personally don't think it's too big of a deal as long as you document your code extremely clearly. In Python, a very interesting special form of uh, class they have is a, a mixing class, and a mixing class is one that's created to be a superclass that other that doesn't do anything itself, but other uh, classes can inherit methods and attributes from. So for example, let's say we wanted to look at our contact list again, and we wanted to add a function to the contact list that would allow us to send an email to the person, the person's email address. Sending an email is such a general thing that other classes might want to do it as well. So we might create a mixing class for specifically for emailing. So this is what the code would look like. It's a class, it's called mail sender. It has one method in it called send underscore mail, which takes in a, a message. The self is the object in which we're talking about. For the sake of this example, we're not going to actually look at the logic that would be required to send a message using a mail server. All we'll do is print out a message saying sending mail to and to whoever the, the message is intended for. And that's our, our mail sender class. So if we want to create a new class, a new subclass that inherits from both contact and from our new mail sender, all we do is we just say class emailable contact open bracket contact comma mail sender. Now that's saying that the class emailable contact is the subclass and contact and mail sender are superclasses and emailable contact inherits all the attributes and uh, methods from both of them. Python allows you to do it really simply. All you do is pass in, it's the same as a method calling in a couple of parameters. So other programming languages like Smalltalk and uh, Java, C++, C Sharp make multiple inheritance slightly trickier. But again, Python makes it so simple. So if we wanted to run that emailable contact program, we could declare a variable of type emailable contact called E, passing in parameters John Smith and jsmith at company.com. And then if we did e dot send mail, boom, we've got a, we're sending a message to that person. So that's it. That's multiple inheritance. Um, as I said, some people get very head up about it because it's hard to trace sometimes where the functionality is originating from and things like that. But I definitely think it's a, it's a good tool to have in your toolkit and it's well worth being able to do well. So it's worth trying out multiple examples of multiple of multiple inheritance um, and I definitely think the way Python allows you to do it makes it simple to do but also shows you clearly from which methods you're inheriting or getting attributes from. Thanks very much, we'll see you guys in the next episode.